Have you ever wondered what the difference between censored versus sensorless brushless motor operation is? I'm not just gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you. In the last video, we tested this new Hobbywing ESC, and, and not only is it well made, it actually is very user friendly, and it's robust. I mean, it's supported 230 amps, almost 10 kilowatts, without even breaking a sweat. I feel really good about this unit as far as the cheaper, more reasonable DIY electric turbo solution. One of the things I mentioned in there was that they were kind enough to send me the sensor cable adapter because their adapter is a proprietary adapter and then this is a more standard adapter. So they sent me this thing for free and it did show up the day that I did that test, but I didn't include it in that video. But as I was breaking down the whole setup, I decided to give this thing a shot and see how it worked. Now, basically the difference between running censored versus sensorless is only applicable to low speed operation. What a censored motor is, is it's a motor that has Hall effect sensors that tell the ESC exactly what position the rotor is in so the ESC knows which phase coils to fire to get the motor moving. That gives you much finer motor control. Without the, the sensors telling the ESC where the rotor is, the ESC has to guess and so it just kind of randomly fires some of the phases and that causes the motor to kind of spike and jerk until there's enough back EMF so the ESC knows where the rotor is and that's the way it generally knows once the motor's spinning. So that allows much finer low speed control, it allows much smoother initial acceleration and in our case what we're really interested in is under these heavy heavy high power loads that we're, we're hitting these things with is it keeps current spikes to a minimum. So as I was breaking down the video and the, the test setup I decided to test this thing and you'll clearly see the difference in startup between censored and sensorless. So as I mentioned, I'd already taken the lights down. I took the polycarbonate shield down and I was basically just left with what I affectionately call my potato cameras. But sometimes the content is so good that the production value doesn't matter as much anyway. Check out how slow and how smooth this is. That's a thousand RPM, 995. I'm sure it's drawn hardly any power. That's crazy. So with the same settings, I'm going to disconnect the sensor cable and we'll see how it does. So it's roughly a thousand RPM. It still starts and runs uncensored, which is amazing, actually. But you notice it gives it a push at the beginning. Let's plug the sensor cable in. Power it all back up. All right, let's see how it starts with the sensor cable. Notice that that big push is gone now. It's just a nice smooth start. And that's the difference in low speed operation between censored and uncensored. This whole video should be censored. Now what the heck, let's hit it. <laughs> it's only 20,000 motor RPM. We were hitting like 35, 36,000. But that was with the polycarbonate shield. I'm not doing that unshielded. I'm not that dumb. I'm dumb. I'm not that dumb. Dum-da-dum-dum. -dum -dum. It works.